Right, the purpose of this video um, is to show this girl. Uh, she was a rescue from Cold Blood Adventures uh, down in Savannah, and uh, what what happened with uh, Brian Nettles. And um, <clears throat> it's very sad. When I first got this animal, um, I pet her for about 24 hours now, and the condition that she's in is absolutely appalling to me uh, and the situation that transpired over at his place um, was just it's kinda heartbreaking but <clears throat> I'll go into that uh, this is pumpkin uh, there's no way to know what how, how old she is um, no way to know what line or you know locality we're thinking that she's a, a uh, Central American but she is grossly underweight you can kinda of see like right in through here uh, she's about five feet five plus feet and you know it's just it's sad that you could just look at this animal and tell how uncared for she was. Uh, she's just got an absolutely sweet face. She hasn't bit me yet, but I'm not gonna take any chances with stuffing this camera in her face. She's been perfectly handled. Uh, of course, I've been cautious, but as always, you have to be when taking an animal that's been abused. Uh, for an animal that a boa that's this big and to see the skin hanging off and to feel the ribs and the extra skin is just squishy in your hand and it's very very sad but <clears throat> basically what happened at Brian's place he had several animals mammals included like you know dogs and uh, he had was running supposedly a rescue which Sure, the definition of a rescue is rehabilitation, um, correcting the problems, but when the police were show or showed up to his house at like uh, it was like 10:30 at night, there were many, many dead animals, um, undercared, underfed, not the proper lighting, not the proper heating for everything that was there. Uh, sure, if you're running a rescue you're gonna have badly cared for animals just simply because you're taking them in but there's no excuse when you have an animal that's been at a place and is receiving the opposite of the bad care in the sense that like they came from somewhere that wasn't caring for them and now they're not receiving any better treatment it's appalling but you can see right here Right there, there's a burn, and then she also has another one uh, somewhere on her her body. But I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to shove this camera around her too much. She's already stressed enough. Um, like you can see how flat she is. I mean, it's 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 really heartbreaking. I mean, it's crazy how flat she is. She's just extremely underfed. <clears throat> and you know Brian's case was just atrocious with dead dead turtles in the yard unlicensed American alligators um, and there's just no excuse for that and it just gets me mad just talking about it but I'm glad that this is this is pumpkin and she's here now and she's safe and she will live a good life and hopefully I get many many years with her and uh that's her story and this is the first video that I'm gonna shoot of her I'm gonna do another video period I mean I'll do I can't say I'm gonna do it definitely in six months because two months later I may want to do another one and uh, kinda wanna do a side-by-side -side sort of comparison but this is her she's actually either due to shed any day or going into shed her belly's milky and whatnot I'm sure that water dripping is not making her any happier. 
Okay, well I'm going to get this camera out let her finish soaking. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing Pumpkin. And uh, be looking forward to some more updates from this rescue girl.